so good morning good evening everyone um we are here to give you guys a quick solution to the daisy crashing when you are trying to launch the game uh, with nvidia filters this solution may also help with other games i don't know but we are talking here to talk about daisy um let's go ahead and see what's the problem so quick explanation based on my understanding um daisy is like a really old game probably as old as, old as me old engine and with like these new features that are coming out with the new graphic cards they cannot really match together and sometimes cause some problem memory leakage and all those stuffs so what you need to know is that for most of the people who have like a really high-end pc usually their pc skips the crash part like they can take her they take care of a those like heavy duty of uh, game and filters that causes the crash like at some point in launching the game there's like lots of shit happening that high NPC can take care of it so they're not crashing but they're like a little lower end PC crashes under that right now I'm using like my laptop gaming laptop because on my main PC I don't have the problem but on my gaming laptop I have the problem so I can show you guys how to solve it but I fix it so hopefully it's gonna work for you I'm gonna give you guys two solutions one will um, fix the game with uh, NVIDIA filter. Another one is just to turn off the NVIDIA filters and somehow figure out uh, how to make your game look better. Wait till the NVIDIA or the DAISY pushes the update to fix the problem. But no more talk. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to fix the problem. So um, usually the problem appears after you update your driver. You update the driver and all of a sudden you cannot play DayZ with uh, NVIDIA filters. But what you're going to need to do is just, if you look at the graphic, like this is an NVIDIA app. This is not the GeForce experience. GeForce experience is way better. NVIDIA app, absolute dog shit. Um, but when you go to the GeForce experience, you, you can find DayZ here. And this part in game setting, all good. Don't change anything about it. It's a setting that you put in while playing the game, inside from the game. But here, the driver settings. You see the first one here, the RTX Dynamic Vibrance, it's on to the Intensity 50 and uh, Saturation Boost to the 50. This is the one shit that is causing your game to crash. So I'm going to keep it on right now to just show you guys that my days is going to crash, go black screen and crash, and then turn it off and explain to you guys how to fix it. So here it's on, I play on, I click on a DayZ play i'm using the vanilla launcher because this is the one that basically everyone got it you know we, you can also use the what's called um these asa launcher so rearm us main the server that i'm playing on i click on a launch to join the server and uh, let's see as you can see the screen goes black here this is the normal thing that you happens every time that you can you want to play daisy but PC is kind of struggling to launch the game and a pop-up error will appear somewhere around here. Yes, here's the one, the crash report, you close it and the black screen will go away and then you will have this status access violation, which means you cannot play Daisy. So to solve it, simply you close this, you go to the NVIDIA app, you say, hey, turn off this or like use global off apply i really recommend to restart your pc that's what i'm gonna do right here right now and see how it goes Alrighty then uh, one restart later again uh i don't know what's not it's not showing here give it a second okay the global thing is off right now and we go ahead try to launch our game right now to see how it goes games daisy play again i'm using the vanilla launcher because it's something that comes by default not the dsl launcher but right now again the us main the same server and we click on a join Okay, the black screen again here. Let's see if we can like pass it and launch the game with the filters. Uh, 
as you can see my game is opening and here comes a filter it gets added up and usually that like usually this should fix your game while we are waiting for the game to like uh, start and but but if it's not i'm gonna show you guys this second solution that hopefully is going to work let's see how it goes Keep in mind, I'm still on my laptop. So, <laughs> holy shit. As you can see, the filters are working. Uh, everything is good. And, yeah, just like this, the game is fixed. So, uh, the other solution that I have for you guys is just like, keep in mind, like, is like this. So, imagine like you don't have any filter. So the next solution is when you need to uh, remove all the filters so you can be able to play the game. How it works is uh, by going to the NVIDIA app, going to the settings and here just uh, turning off the game filter and the photo, photo mode. So your game will look like, like this, like vanilla. Either you can use reshade or while waiting for the like devs or like developers of nvidia or daisy to fix their problem what you gonna do is just um, in the window just uh, search for display color caliber something like this pops up click on the next 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 and you see this bar here you move it up a little bit it's like a gamma for you so at least you have the feature of like having a little bit like you see i don't know if it shows on my recording but uh, the game is brighter right now it's not like at, as dark as it was so it will help you at least to look better maybe and yeah you just wait for the devs to just uh, fix it in for you yeah anyways uh, have a fun uh, playing DayZ I hope it uh, works for you guys and enjoy your life